The latest in a string of incidents involving costume performers harassing Times Square patrons could pave the way for new regulations against those performers. And a less than heroic act from Spider-Man is to blame. Seen in this raw footage obtained by the New York Post, a man wearing a Spider-Man costume was arrested Saturday after he punched a cop in the face following a dispute over requesting money from Times Square patrons. According to WNBC, an unidentified woman offered a $1 tip to the man behind the mask. But 25-year-old Junior Bishop refused the dollar and allegedly insisted that he only accepted fives, tens, and twenties. Thing is, a nearby cop overheard the conversation, pulled Bishop aside, and told the costume web slinger he wasn't allowed to ask for money. And that's when things got ugly. Police say Bishop shot back to the NYPD officer, mind your own business, and continued to yell and swear. The officer then asked for his ID, and when Bishop didn't have one on him, Police arrested him, but he didn't go quietly. That's when this took place. Bishop has been charged with assault, resisting arrest, and criminal mischief and misconduct. And the New York Times says Bishop has aggressively demanded money from tourists at least one other time while performing as a different character. Costume character arrests have become a frequent free show for tourists wandering through Times Square, something the NYPD wants to crack down on. There was a man dressed as Sesame Street's Elmo reportedly shouting anti-Semitic slurs in 2012. Another incident in April 2013 when a Cookie Monster performer was arrested for pushing and endangering a young boy. Plus, recent sexual assault and groping charges for acts including Woody from Toy Story and Super Mario, respectively. There was also essentially a turf war brawl between two competing Statue of Liberty acts. President of Times Square Alliance Tim Tompkins told WCBS, Quirky is fine, creepy is not, and that most street performers are honest folks who are out just trying to earn a living. But there's also some folks who are taking advantage of people. The Manhattan City Council is currently drafting legislation that forces performers to obtain licenses and go through background checks. But the council has hit a few hangups because of copyright constraints. Plus, the Wall Street Journal points out requiring licenses could infringe on the performer's First Amendment rights, and the policy could be difficult to enforce, as many who perform are illegal immigrants. For Newsy, I'm Jay Struberg.